Welcome everyone. Um, this is going to be a special little reading that we're going to do um, from our spirit guides, from spirit um, regarding December, regarding the holidays. Let's just say the holidays period, um, whatever it is that you celebrate. I feel like um, I'm being called to do this reading because times are difficult. Let's face it, times are very difficult. Um, people have lost their jobs. People you know, um, are worried about the coronavirus, and of course we should be, right? We need to protect ourselves, protect, you know, protect yourself, um, protect your neighbor. Um, you know, in my reading, it is all about the light, so, you know, you want to protect, each, we want to protect each other, that's our job, that's our job. So, um, Many of us don't have a lot of money this season, and that worries us, right? You know, especially if you have little children. So I feel like we just need to hear um, from our guides regarding all that we're going through and, and, and the holidays. Of course, we always want to remember what the holiday is truly about. Um, that alone can remove a lot of stress, right? So, this is really for anyone who has just found themselves here, found themselves guided here, nudged here, whatever it is. I just want to again say welcome, and um, let's see what wants to be said. We're going to start with the Mother Mary deck. This is an oracle deck uh, that I just love and trust. So let's go ahead and begin. Um, just, you know, calm your mind while I'm shuffling. Waiting. We're going to wait patiently. It's weird. It's like one of these cards. I don't know. Let's see what we have. We have action. Today, I take action related to the priorities that I have previously put off. Now what we're going to do is bring in um, Archangel Raphael. This is about our physical well-being. We have sunlight. Well, I can tell you it's hard to find where I'm at right now. Um, Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me enjoy the benefits of sunshine in a safe and healthy way. So, of course, sunlight um, in moderation is, is really good for our moods, for what? Vitamin D. Um, just to keep yourself some of us are going through the winter and um you know we're moving into the winter months and i feel like it's saying you know keep yourself active even through you know those times um when there's sunlight try to get 10 15 minutes of it we have forgiveness heals dear god and archangel raphael i am willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what i really want peace, and health. And then we have consult a nutritionist. Interesting. 
Dear, dear, uh, sorry, dear Archangel Raphael, I turn my eating over to you and ask you to guide me to foods and beverages that taste good, are fulfilling, and support my ideal health and weight. Okay. Action, sunlight, forgiveness, heals, consult a nutritionist. I have to say, for one reason or another, what I'm feeling like is um, like this is not going to be the time to um, just sit around and do nothing. Um, in regards to your life, I feel. Um, because I feel like there, you know, even though, again, we're, we're in tough times, I feel like there are solutions to certain, certain problems um, that, of course, are going to, will end up helping, you know, they multiply. All right. Let's get the storyline. Wow. So we have the Empress, you know, the Empress coming out first, um, when you think of the Empress, you want to think of someone who's had, who's been through a lot in life. The thing about the Empress though, is she's learned, um, that through her perhaps action of reflecting upon each and every journey she's been on, um, what she's learned is, you know, many times there are lessons. Um, for, for what reason? To help your soul evolve. For eternity, by the way. Eternity. Um, so the Empress has learned that. Um, the Empress is someone who is both strong and soft. Strong and nurturing. Um... She's someone who doesn't let her past, probably is, this is why you might have forgiveness heals, she doesn't let her past, um, and I feel like I'm talking to particular people as I say this, um, she doesn't let her past harden her heart. Um, if anything, it's the opposite. She has learned that the more that her heart is open, um, the more comes to her and, and, and she doesn't open her heart to receive. It's just a natural give and receive, a natural action and reaction, right? Type of thing. We have the page of pentacles. We have the five of cups. I have to tell you, right off the bat, I feel like that's exactly what someone may be doing, taking the action to look back at, um, you know, to look back. Why? To learn. The Princess of Pentacles is all about, all about learning, and as she learns, she expands, right? As she learns, she becomes more and more abundant, um, but it's like her curiosity. It's, it is her... Um, you know, she's not, you know, what is she doing? She's looking over at the Five of Cups, so this can talk about, which is right under Forgiveness Heals, someone of our past who has hurt us. Maybe many people have hurt us. What she's doing um, with the Empress is sending out like this Princess of Pentacles, right? Learning about these cups that are knocked over, learning about these bloodsheds. But what I'm, uh, I'm looking for true knowledge here, though, right? I'm not looking for um, anything that's sugar-coated. I'm looking for truth. So through the reflection of those three cups, um, you know, as I'm gaining this knowledge, um, you know, I some forgiveness. I just feel like here it is, right? Here it is. Forgiveness heals. But it heals. So this may be, be calling for some of you to try to forgive where you can forgive. 
Um, and remember, it doesn't mean you're forgiven. I don't always say this. Um, you're not condoning the action. You're just no longer accepting to carry the weight of it. Because truly, that's what happens is you're carrying it. Anyways, the Empress on this journey of learning. So clearly learning something new. Um, in the Five of Cups, even though there's the energy of uh, missing someone, um, there's two cups that are still there. And I feel like um, our guide just saying that's what you want to keep your focus on, on or on are on the cups that have yet to come in and they will come in um even though we don't feel like it right but i feel like for some of you literally i feel like if i'm feeling down um there are action steps i can take to uh make myself feel better um in the present moment and that's what it's all about anyway so let's keep going We have the star. Star is what you hope for. Um, it's what you dream about. It's what you're praying for. Um, but in the star energy, what you want to remember is, um, you know, this is about the connection to above, like, like as above, so below. Um, but again, there's action in like your dream so I, you know like I can't uh, I don't know say I want to be a movie star I'm just throwing that out there um that's what I'm dreaming for all your guides are saying is put in the action put in the action behind the dream that's how it works right like things won't like boom this perfect thing won't just fall in, in your lap um because I feel like this is talking about changing lives and being willing to go after what it is that um, fulfills me, ultimately, what fulfills me, right? Um, I, if I go back, where did I see, what am I looking for? Peace and health. Um, some of you love, yes, but what this is talking about is yourself um, and taking action within what it is you want to manifest. So I like that the stars looking back at those two cups that the person in the five of cups has yet to see. Um, probably can't even feel it. it. Has this heavy cloak on, so probably doesn't even see it. Right? Um, I'm focusing, you know. And and here's the danger of the five of cups. If I don't get myself out of that energy, I can become very cold-hearted. Um, it's almost like that's why I need the sunlight, right? I need the sunlight to warm my heart. We have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is a beautiful energy under the Empress because what it talks about is you have done this before. You've been here before. Um, the Empress, I feel like, which is you, um, is the collective of all her wisdom of all her lifetimes, right? And not just of her, he, him. But also of above, right? Our spiritual team. Um, you know, the Empress learns to use it all. I walk within my the earthly world within my spiritual um, body. So anyway, um, you know, some of you have a nine life path, and you may listen. You may be having a difficult life, um, but. Would you believe that um, some of us request a difficult life? You know, um, I don't know. I just feel like, um, well, I know that to be true for myself. Anyways, I feel like um, each one of our, us as a soul, before we come to this, this earth, this lifetime, um, we already know like some of the bullet points, right? We all, we know on a, in a soul level, um, all that we're capable of, but the human condition, sometimes we're here to learn how to overcome that human condition. Um, and, um, what's the human condition? Well, the human condition can really make you feel like you can't accomplish and, um, 
at the spiritual aspect and say nothing is off limits. Um, you just have to put the action in behind it. So there's no dream that's too big, is what I feel. Uh, but what am I willing to put the effort so it comes to me? And I feel it will. Um, you know, nine is about the final judgment. So, it, which is beautiful under the emperor. So I'm looking, let's just say I'm looking at the last journey of my life. Maybe it's the last nine years. Um, I'm looking at it as the final judgment so that I can, again, pull out of it what will be mine for eternity. And that is a lesson learned. And that means if that lesson reappears or if that situation reappears, you'll see it. You'll know it, right? And you'll know exactly what to do. This is the things that your soul is learning. Um, but then the Empress knows at the end of that reflection, close the door, right? Time to move on. New journey, new places to go, new things to seek. And um, I do feel you're all the Empress, whether you're male, female, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, I feel like we are moving into the time of the female also. Um, I see. I feel like you're going to see more and more females in um, leadership roles. And, you know, why is that good? Well, because that's going to bring an aspect of compassion to the world that at least the United States, perhaps, but I feel this is worldwide. Um, well, look at that. What's it bringing? It's bringing love. Right? Bringing love. Um, you know, um, there, it, you know, there's it, there's nothing better than a mother's love. And let's just say this is Mother Earth. So the Prince of Pen the Princess of Pentacles is about learning, right? I want to learn about this Five of Cups. I want to learn why the why these cups are spilled over and why there's bloodshed. Um, I want to learn what keep what kept me there when when I could you know, feel the coldness in my bones. Why didn't I leave? Um, so I want to examine that. I just want to examine that. But within that energy, I can tell you, right above it says forgiveness heals. So I feel like your answer, because five is about change, something I have to look at and perhaps change. So I got to change at where I'm putting my focus. I got I got to stop looking at all the all the bad and I gotta start looking at all the possibilities. It's a change of attitude. <laughs> um but nonetheless, so as we do that, and maybe it's talking as a collective, because this is for the collective, um, then we start really, let's just say what if whatever it is that I dream to be, maybe some of you want to work in the field of like physical fitness and nutrition and that type of thing, um, go after it. Because I feel then now we have the universe responding in a way where the Prince of Cups now shows up. Prince of Cups is about bringing a cup of fulfillment to you. You notice I'm not really seeing signs here because I... I don't feel like this is about particular people. This is um, open to everyone. You know, and I have to say, where I said, like, the nine, the final judgment, right? Here is the final judgment. The Empress is making the final judgment. <coughs> it's almost like, so I could start learning something new, right? Um... So I make that final judgment, close the door, and then boom, here's the Prince of Cups bringing you in what? Another cup. Another cup. Or two. So this is how the universe responds to you and where you decide to put your focus. We have the Four of cups, or which makes perfect sense coming under the five of cups, right? Um, listen, this is energy where I feel some of us have got stuck in our emotional houses over the bloodshed 
over regret, over hurt, pain. Um, you know, the Empress is like, you can take it, the Knight of Wands. You've been there before. Um, and you need to look at it that way. I have been here before, so I want to learn this lesson once and for all. Prince, the Princess of Pentacles, listen, she's all about learning that knowledge. And she's looking right at that Five of Cups. That Five is saying, I want you to change that. Why? So that your dreams can come true, right? Because the Four of Cups coming under that makes me feel like here I am, like going down, right? It's bringing me down where I should be going up. I'm going down. And, um, you know, this can be the energy of, therefore, I... I don't pay attention to my own interests, right? Like, like why put yourself less, you know, don't make yourself less important than the person that hurt you. You need to remember that, right? Because when you carry the, you know, all this, ugh, like I'm wrapped in sadness and, and hurt and pain and that, and, um, and therefore, you know, forgiveness heals, so it's asking some to be able to forgive, right? Um, I'm not doing a damn thing to them. I'm not affecting them. Especially if this is, you know, we're, this is someone who's not around me. Um, you know, the emperor is going to lead by example. She's going to lead by example. Um, and I feel like I want to say, women, your daughters are watching. Your daughters are watching and um, you're leading by example. So you really want to think about that, right? Okay. Anyway, so I'm just seeing what, when we get stuck, what it can do, right? And it doesn't look like a good place to be. It's cold. Um, there's snow. The snow is icy. Look at this judgment. How beautiful. So these are your spirit guides, right? Um, coming right under the star. So, you know, I feel like the message for us is don't forget that you have a whole spiritual team that is here to help, right? But nothing can happen until you make the decision to take that first step forward. Well, I just realized the heater just went off and um, I can hear my own voice better. Um, I am going to upgrade my audio um, as soon as I learn how. <laughs> but I'm going to buy a mic when I get the money. And um, so I am going to make it better. Anyway, so. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's take the crystal vision. And we're just going to clarify a little bit. Because really, I don't feel like there's a lot to clarify. Um, I feel like, you know, this is a spiritual message. It's exactly what I wanted it to be. Um, your spirit guides are, like, behind you in your dreams, whatever they may be. Um, but clearly, this is about a call to attention. You know, it's like, it's like your spirit guides are like, hey, 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 you. You know, it's enough, 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 right? Here's his cup above his head. Judgment's like, present moment, present moment. I want you in the present moment. Um, but you have free will. So you can do whatever you want to do. It's interesting how it's like, here's this guy with his head down. Um, right? But on one side of him, he's got the Prince of Cups coming in. Well, that Prince of Cups is going to bring in a cup of fulfillment. Um, if he even sees it, right? Over here, you have your um, spirit team, like, hey, you know, call to attention now, right? This is about you and your own dreams. Um, and some of you, I'm just going to say it, I feel like um, like you just gave up on yourself. Gave up on yourself. Don't forget, you came here for adventure, journeys, excitement, hurt, all of it. You want to experience every emotion as a soul, um, and you are, <laughs> we all are, you know, um, trust me, 
I've experienced myself. But what this is saying is be the empress. And a lot of you are the empress. Can I tell you, I have a feel like I have a lot of strong people that come to this reading. And, you know, what do we learn? That the, the knowledge never ends. There's always more to learn, right? There's, you can always become more enlightened. A lot of people think, oh, I'm enlightened and that's it. No, you can continue to become as enlightened as you want to, but it depends on what you want to focus on, right? What you're going to do when you're down. What kind of action are you going to take when you're down? Your spirit team says you're not walking this earth alone, though you may feel like it. But for some of you, it's because you're carrying a lot of weight, like weight of regret, sorrow, mad, anger, that type of stuff. And um, it's holding you in a certain place. And what is it really doing? It's keeping you from your dreams. Um, you know, it reminds me of someone who wrote a comment about wanting someone of the past so badly. And what I said is, what I felt guided to say, honestly, was that, um, you know, it's okay to want something of the past. But if I can't have it right now, then I can't have it right now. And it's not about me stopping my life, right? If something is meant to be, if a person is meant to be, they will catch up to us. And that's exactly how it should be. That's, the Empress wouldn't have it any other way. Not that she won't, you know, it doesn't mean that someone has to come in who's abundant and and all this. No, she's very compassionate. She's very empathetic. Um, what she's saying, if you're going to be part of my life, then you've got to be someone who wants to, to get better and better and better and better and better and better. Right? Then I welcome you. If you're someone who wants to bring me down and down and down and down, and for the time being, right, for the present moment, I've got to let you go. The final judgment. So, you know, but you're going to see yourself as this empress. Why am I talking so much? And I know a lot of you out there um, know that you are the empress. Um, you know, and listen, this doesn't matter how Tarot explains the Empress. I'm telling you, in my readings, the Empress is someone who doesn't matter her age, um, but she's had a lot of experiences. And um, what what happens due to these experiences? Well, look at this man's physique. Look at his, his frame, the muscles, right? Some of you, it is about lifting. You might be starting to lift weight again. I don't know. Um, but anyways, what this tells you is during this journey, um, this person truly grew, right? They stay focused upon what it is they want. And um, that frame just shows you how strong you become because of your experiences. All right, with the Page of Pentacles. So, uh, some of you, you know, I feel like maybe it's about going back to school. Um, no matter your age. Um, learning, right? This is learning. You know, I, it's funny. The, this, the Page of Pentacles in this deck, I often feel, is very peaceful. Um, very laid back, right? She's um, playing, I think, a ukulele. So this is talk about picking up your instrument again or learning an instrument if that's what, you know, in your heart. You know, your dream doesn't have to be one dream. I could dream that I play the, you know, that I can play the guitar or the ukulele, um, that I can play my own music, that type of thing. But I also pray that... Um, you know, in some way, maybe be, I become a nutritionist or I work in a gym, whatever it is, um, or I live that way. So 
Remember that. Your dreams can be many. The Queen of Pentacles. Um, first of all, I want to say, you're getting a lot of Pentacles. Um, and I have to say, I feel the Queen of Pentacles is um, the business owner. Um, if she's not the business owner, let's say if we're talking about work, she's someone um, who could certainly work behind the scenes. Um... But she's someone also who can read between the lines. So some of you are on your path towards this. We have the Five of Wands. Interesting, that's coming over your dreams. And a five. So it's almost like you're resisting yourself. It's like... You know, I'm fighting myself. Who are you fighting here? You. And if you fight you, you there can never be a winner, right? Because you will continue to fight you. I don't even know if that makes sense, but it feels like it does. Page of Swords. Here's the King of Pentacles. So we have the Queen and the King of Pentacles tied together. Um, doesn't matter what sign they are, if this is talking about love. Um... This would be like-minded people, which exactly would explain, especially that 501s, like-minded. Um, but i got to be aware of my own energy because I don't want to go into exactly... Let's say that exactly what you want shows up right now. Yet, you're in that Five of Cups energy. And, and you, know, you, you know, you are, let's just say, still in the dark. Um, you're not seeking that light and everywhere it's telling you, seek the light and you're going to find it. And it's going to grow, 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 grow. Um, so you get exactly what you want. Um, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Because you also want to be ready for it. Um, King of Pentacles is someone who looks at the big picture. Interesting, because you have someone who looks at the big picture and then the queen who sees all those other details that other people missed. You know, over this this learning, this knowledge, some of you may meet someone very like-minded, um, you know, if you're going to college or classes or doing something, you can even just be taking a course online and you meet someone online um, that's very like-minded. And let's take our... Last couple of, you know, I, I said to myself, let's try to keep it short, Sandy. And I know better. As soon as I say those words to myself, I know better. Well, hello. I feel like this is the perfect card for you, for all of us. Temperance. Let's talk about temperance for a second because I feel like it's really important because she's coming over judgment, number one. But she's also coming over actions. Five, right? These two fives. I'm fighting myself. Why? Because uh, because something of my past has not been cleared, and I may even be just that's what that's where I'm living. You know, I may be living here, like I'm living in Boston, but my <laughs> you know my heart's in San Francisco, type of thing. Um. Anyway, so Temperance comes out and says, well. This could take time, or it could happen tomorrow. What is determined? What where? What's our determination? The fives. Where we're willing to make our changes, right? Um, you want to dream. What are you willing to do for it? And listen, this doesn't say. All I feel like is if I start moving in the right direction, everything moves with me. If I move in the wrong direction, it's like I'm pushing against the wind. And that's maybe how I know. So temperance talks about divine timing. I always find that nice in a reading because what that that means I can let go of control of when something must show and instead I can go with the flow, take the action steps I'm I'm, I'm feeling intuitively. Um and, it, you know, I feel like it'll bring you right to where you need to be. Um, you know, and listen, I feel like also temperance is like 
don't, you know, maybe they're just one, if this is love, there's just one person, I think, and that's it. Well, my God, am I like, am I, am I turning down experiences because of that person? But this person doesn't want to be me, be with me for whatever reason. Um, but yet here I am stuck in that energy of them. Am I missing what could be for what was? And temperance may be saying, listen, that's part of this process. We're waiting for you to start to move out of the fives into the sixes, right? Just take those steps. Um, but there is the energy again of, of staying, staying present and just knowing. It's like, I feel like our outgoing message should be divine just saying, just know that as it relates to your, your dreams, as long as you're putting some action behind it, you will be at the right place at the right time. This is saying, just be careful that you don't get stuck in certain type of energy because, and, 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 and learn to forgive and to forgive quickly. It doesn't mean I forgive and take you back. It means I just forgive and I, I keep moving, right? That's what the Empress does. The Empress is someone where she learns a lesson, so no one can really fool her anymore. And she's continuing to learn. You know, I don't know. I think it was pretty awesome. So, um, you know, uh, does that sound crazy when I say my own reading is awesome? Um, but I feel like I'm just a messenger, so I don't even know. I'm learning right along with you. Uh, so, I'm going to leave it there. Um, tell me what you think. Maybe we'll make these a monthly thing. Um, but, boy, did it feel important to come out now. So, anyways, I love you guys. Um, thank you for just stopping by. Thank you for trusting your intuition. Um, thank you for trusting in me and um, supporting my work. Um in many different ways, just being here is supporting my work. Um, thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, subscribes. Uh, I love, I love that, you know, I feel like we're one big soul family and, and our soul family members are still coming. They're still coming, right? They'll, but, but they'll be guided in the right time. They'll be in the right place at the right time. I feel like you'll find this reading at the right time, right? right when you need it. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I love you. Um, happy holidays. Um, try to stay peaceful within yourself the best way you can. Um, you know, times keep, you know, this is temporary. Temporary. Temperance says under control. Just keep Keep, you know, keep or start focusing on your dreams. Some of you pick up that musical instrument you've been, you've been wanting to maybe since you were a kid. Um, do it. Do it. Right? Just do it. And um, I feel like when you're in that type of energy, um, it's just attracting, right? It's attracting. It's luring in more beautiful, creative, loving type energy. But then I'm mean and mad and pissed. I don't feel like more and more bad things. Like, what the hell? <laughs> you know? So, I'm going to leave it there. I said that like five times. I love you guys. I will, um, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.